Hello, this is my first ever how-to uh, video, but I was uh, really compelled to do one uh, based on the fact that I bought uh, this SanDisk Ultra 32GB memory card um, from an Amazon Marketplace seller uh, yesterday actually, and um, it was just something that, that kind of raised my suspicions as soon as it arrived, uh, it, not only the fact that I did buy it uh, at the cheapest price, well one of the cheapest price possible on um, on Amazon, um, uh, but it just the the look and feel of this uh, just didn't feel right. Uh, actually, the first thing that I noticed was uh, this this line it was just slightly slightly wider on this side than this. Like we're talking very slight, but it was just something that I thought, you know, that that's they're going to have got that right. You know, they're, they're doing so many of these cards um, that that they wouldn't normally have that. Also, I bought um, an official one uh, about a week uh, earlier. Uh, for about five pounds more expensive, uh, so you know, it wasn't like I've gone super cheap on this. Um, but uh, the the actual print effect was instantly noticeable. Uh, the fact that it was very high quality, it was it was dimpled print, and the the but the the, uh, the logos and the little data uh, icons here um, were all very crisp and crystal clear. So that was the first thing I noticed. Um, uh, secondly, uh, if you see here, there's a, this bit of ghosting around the sand disk and uh, based on the, the the fact that the print has been uh, skewed slightly uh, also very noticeable when you when you take a look at, um, at these icons here which are not printed not printed properly at all the next thing um, that I noticed was when you flip it over onto its back um, here firstly uh, these icons um, on my official pack now this might not be true of all official packs but on my official pack all of these icons are actually just down here um, so you, they fill this space and there's a much bigger gap uh, here which, uh, which is uh, totally clear uh, but what I did notice is also this text is, is padded uh, much nicer against the title um, but really, the instant thing that I noticed um, after, you know, without seeing my official pack, was the differing print quality on the back. The fact that actually, if you look at uh, the text like here and here, very clear, very crystal clear print. Um, but actually, when you come and take a look at this, it's not so much. It's it's dappled. Uh, it's not clear. And if you look at especially like E's on the, you can't actually see uh, uh, the gap uh, within. Uh, within the lettering, it's just it's just a, a mess. It's actually quite hard to read um, and notice. Uh, one also small thing I noticed, I mean, it might not be true of all official packs, um, uh, but the the points were different. So um, the one gig was was described down here, and it was up there. Um, uh, there's a few people that in the negative comments on on Amazon have said that well, you can notice it's a fake because it's a 32. Uh, gig card, um, but actually only references one gig on the back. Uh, actually, my official pack uh, only references one gig, and what that what it's trying to do there is mention that you know this is 32 gigabytes, but actually a gigabyte is not really a gigabyte because of you know this and this, and this is what we mean by gigabyte. Um, so it, actually, the data's um, data's correct. Uh, I haven't. I'm dyslexic myself, so I can't tell you if there's any misspellings, which is usually the way the case, the way you can see if a, if you've got a fake pack or not. Um, but um, but yeah, just just that print quality just didn't didn't feel right to me. Um, I decided to to go ahead and cut it open um, mainly because I was you know I only paid around about fifteen pounds for this, so I, I thought I'd take the risk and and see if it was. You know, I wasn't one hundred percent sure at this stage whether it was a fake or not, so I decided to open it up. And, and find out. So if I can get in here. A bit of pain to get in, but uh, in general, very high quality packaging though. Um, everything is so close to the, uh, to, to the real 
version it's untrue. Oh, well, one other thing I didn't mention is actually this is very uh, pixelated on my official pack. I didn't get the Android version um, or the one that's you know that's obviously marketed towards Android users. Um, but I'd be very surprised if if SanDisk has uh, printed this uh, image of, a, of their app uh, in so low quality. You can barely make out what um, what it's trying to, to kind of portray. Um, you know, you can just about say that, see that's SanDisk and that's my memory, but, but it's so pixelated that I, I'd be very surprised that the official pack um, for Android version actually has that uh, on it. Um, the thing that, I, that struck me as soon as I managed to get this out of my pack um, was that the actual packaging is identical. Um, it's not surprised, it's only a bit of plastic. Uh, but as soon as I flipped it over, there you go. There's a hologram there, and if you can see that, uh, it's it first says 14TJ1-2. Um, you know, TJ is no reference to, uh, to SanDisk at all. Uh, my official one doesn't have a, a, a hologram on the back at all. Um, and usually I find whenever you see a hologram, it's actually trying to make out, uh, especially if it's not, you know, got the logo of the company, it's actually just trying to make out that it's real when it's not. Um, you know, it's a quite an easy telltale sign. Um, also, uh, on the on the hologram itself, the hologram is just Chinese writing, which I'd find, you know, find it hard to believe any Western company would um, stick a, a generic hologram on with some Chinese writing. Um, now, the things... Uh, Beyond that, that, I noticed is that the print quality is is pretty low uh, on this. Um, there's a couple of specks of of black paint on here. Um, the logos and the icons are just not crystal clear at all. Um, uh, they you know they they're, they're a little bit blurred. Um, and then beyond that, actually, if you're getting a high capacity memory card like this one, a 32 gig, um, the official ones have have got a bevel uh, on the back, um, which uh, this obviously you can't really see but it's you know there's no bevel there's nothing there and the reason why that is is the fact that um, high capacity memory cards have to have that you know to, to, to be able to have enough memory in such a small device they have to have that bevel and this was proven actually when I did uh, ran a memory test I downloaded a very uh, simple free bit of software it's just a exe file which runs with no installation uh, from your computer uh, and um, it's able to, you plug it in into the computer, it's able to start reading the device and, well, reading right into the device. Now the computer instantly thought this was a 32 gigabyte card. Um, if, you know, if you look at it through your, my computer, it says it's 32 gigabyte. Um, but when you ran that test, what it does is it writes 32 gigabyte of data to it, or at least tries to, um, and then tries to, then reads that data back. Um, and it got to around about 7.8 gigabytes um, of data read back uh, that it knew about before it couldn't read any more. The data just failed. Uh, so what that means is this: this is a, um, an eight gigabyte card essentially, uh, pretending to be a thirty-two gigabyte card. Um, as I as I said, this was bought from Marketplace seller, and in their description of the product, um, they said they were an authorized uh, reseller. Um, now, subsequent, subsequently, I've also checked with uh, SanDisk um, uh, on their website and also through their support, and they've confirmed that that's actually not true. Um, so, they're, you know, they're obviously their telltale signs. But what I was surprised in general, though, that this is a very high quality copy. If I wasn't such a geek, um, I wouldn't have noticed um, at all. Um, I would have just plugged it into my computer, and, you know, about a month later when I'd filled it up, I would not have noticed, uh, you know, I would have started noticing that it was failing and not doing what it was meant to do. And the instant thought would have been, well, you know, SanDisk isn't as good as it used to be. Uh, it's not a good uh, good brand. And actually, you can tell that with uh, some of the um, Amazon reviews. Or in fact, all of the one-star Amazon reviews are, are slating SanDisk as a company and, you know, the fact that their quality's gone down and the fact that it failed at around about 8 gig or, or 5 gig, some of them, and 2 gig on, on worst occasions. And, I, you know, I'm near enough 100% positive that all of those occasions... Um, the reason for that being uh, is the fact that they've actually bought uh, unwittingly a, a fake card and um, the card is just no longer working um, uh, because it's of poor quality. Uh, so I hope these, these tips have helped you um, to identify whether your card is uh, a fake or real. Um, I would recommend that if you have any um, 
thoughts that it is a fake that you upload the the photos and contact sandisk um directly uh, if you're in the uk i would also urge you to report your seller to citizens advice um so that they can pass that on to trading standards um i have no doubt that my seller uh, on on amazon is doing a very high volume of these and only obviously getting quite a, few, a low volume of uh, complaints which is the reason why amazon is still letting them sell uh, and, but i believe that's purely because um the people that are buying them in general won't have uh, an idea about um, about how to check these and they, they won't even consider that the fakes are available uh, of such high quality. Um, yeah, I will link to at the bottom uh, the, the links to the testing program that I've used. Uh, it's very good, it's, it's uh, known by SanDisk, in fact they referenced that I should use that um, themselves. So yeah, I hope this helps and uh, leave any feedback in the comments. Thank you very much.